Hey, Cindy. Watch it. Whoa. Weather coming. It's not too ugly, but it's noisy. I'm up at the farm again. We're supposed to have, according to the map, as you can see over there, there's a line, like a 20 minute something. And I think it's going just north of us. Um, we might get a little, little sprinkle, but the real big down, you can see, um, in person, you can see it's actually raining here. It's raining over here. That's north of us. It's well north of us over here. Shows it in the map up here. We got like distinct clouds. So we'll just get a little sprinkle, but we're not getting the big stuff. And I don't see any streaks, so it's not pouring. So anyway, that's your weather lesson for today. No distinct clouds. It's raining. If it's raining heavy, you can actually see lines. And like that, it's not raining. It may. But we are getting, like, lightning. Ooh, I don't want to be outside. Um, I'm up here. <clears throat> I put my... Let's see. Let's back up. I've been working on... I did some work on the tractor. This is the barn for West Bay. Nice, eh? Big. So, this little tractor. It's very nice. It's really nice. It's cool. I've done a few things on it. It just needed a little bop here and there. Then, um, I think it's last year. No, it wasn't last year. It's been a few years, a couple years, that um, Steve got this. It's a Craftsman. Um, Pro V 20 twin. Um, actually, for what we do, it's pretty, it, it works really well. Um, it looks like it's been through a war because, yes, number one, it was used. Let me see if I can get, yeah, here we go. It was used, but um, we also have a lot to mow and it ends up getting used up a lot. Now, this is mine over here. Um, while I'm working on the Craftsman, I brought this up to do some work. Hopefully if it's not so wet. I cut some the other night in this lower field. And um, let's see, let's go out and take a look. I did the top half and it was starting to get dark. That's when I was here the other night. But, I mean, it's better than nothing. So, and um, sometime this weekend, we're supposed to have all this hot, hot weather. So I may come up like maybe five in the morning or so and do the bottom half so it can kind of seal up a little bit and not really go into like a stress. But, I mean, it's grass and it gives us headaches so if it goes into stress who really cares so <laughs> it's kind of like that but um I am going to water I just checked the well um this little building over here is the well and turn everything on hopefully and it seemed like somebody left it on Somebody left it on. So whoever came up, this stuff is wet. You know what? Somebody came up and watered this afternoon and left it on. That's all right. It's not a big deal. But the trouble is, like, if a hose explodes or something and nobody's here, like, for, say, 24 hours, it's not like you're at home and you're in bed and you say, hmm, I hear water running. <laughs> Or somebody pulls in and sees, like, hey, there's not supposed to be, like, a river running down the driveway or, you know, that kind of thing. So anyway, I'm not going to water these too much because they don't look really dry at all. So, yeah, see this? There's no way because it didn't rain today and these things, they're not dry. 
They're not dry. Nope. Holy crap, they're wet. Yeah, they're wet. Let's see, these might be able to use a little bit. Ooh, I can't twist the hose and hold the float at the same time. What am I thinking? I'm crazy. Okay, there we go. I don't like this nozzle because the um, it's called a shower, but actually it's like it has a better shower in the rain. It's like one of those. It's a ring, so I like the ones that are like a little more um, evenly distributed. But hey, what can you do? What can you do? The one that's down the bottom. On the way in, I did turn the city water on. City up, here comes the rain. Here comes the rain. I think there's a song about that. Ooh. Yo, yo. I think what I'm going to do is see if I can get the girls. <coughs> girls! Hey, G. Cindy! It's raining. Get in here. Come on in the barn. Come on, she's coming. Come on, G. Gigi, it's raining. Cindy, come on. See, she's over there. Come on, it's raining. You don't like the rain. You don't even like outside. <laughs> Cindy, come on. I'm inside. It's raining. Cindy, come on. She can't see anymore. I really know she can't see. Come on, Cindy. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Come inside. Come on. I usually kick him out of here. <laughs> Come on. It's raining. Come on. Come here. Come on. It's okay. Yeah, don't go under there. It's all leaky. Ready? Come on in. Come on in. Come on. It's okay. <gasps> Good girls. Good girls. Yes. Good girls. Okay, it's a good girl for you, too. I should have brought you some snacks, and I didn't. But it is, um... Oh, raining. Okay. Um, let's see. I know, um, Steve went to New York to visit his mother. Let me pause this and put the, um, um, tripod on. Just a second. Okay, back again. Um, let me show you a little about inside. Um, apparently, Stop and Shop must have donated these. Um, there's anything that's back here is either donated or because it has um, store names on it. We don't buy things that have store names. So those were donated. All these racks and everything in the back, this baker's racks. This rack came from another chicken lady that is associated with the farm. Um, a lot of these things like this was mm, probably donated. Um, the refrigerators, he did get like a two for deal. Um, I think they came from Sears. Um, they've served us well. They're just, just refrigerators. No shelves, no nothing. That's it. This is getting picked up for the food bank tomorrow. There's lettuce. Okay. And... I believe these three three containers are lettuce. Um, <clears throat> some of the water I got the other day. And here's more lettuce. So tomorrow morning, the girl will be coming to pick that up. These, um, let's see. Power control, all right. I know he bought some. They were on like Facebook or something. One of those neighborhood things. And as long as they were food grade, he told me he, he bought a whole bunch of them because it keeps you it keeps us from having trouble um, with like mice and things like all these. <clears throat> this right here is our um, root cellar, so um, all a lot of this stuff gets put into the root cellar, like potatoes, squashes, and onions and things, and. Um, if they have to be kept if they get kept in here they have to be in these if they're not refrigerated because the mice will come in and uh, there you go so anyway so that's the little tour <laughs> that was the five cent tour there is a back door goes out 
and goes straight through. It's really nice. We get a great breeze in here. So this is what I'm doing. What I'm doing here. Hey, if you've never done this before, this is a, as I said, it's a craftsman. And this is a Briggs Kohler Pro, the 20 horsepower twin. Okay. Um, I don't know what year it is. Uh, I didn't ask him anything about it. It's just that it needed a solenoid. So if you've never done this, I did take the battery out. Okay. This is the solenoid. I did take some stills. If you're going to do something like this, take stills so you know where the wires go back. All right. Um, this is the one that I got. You want to hear a story. Well, I'm putting the bar battery in, I'll tell you that story. But um, I have the original one somewhere. But when I got it, you see, it only has one. Can you see that? It only has one of the bolts to connect because the other one is a ground. So I just put that under the, the connector, you know, the, for the, the ground thing. And um, hopefully that'll be good. Now, being a craftsman, there's funky little weird things because sometimes I look at it and it's like, the wiring doesn't really make sense. It really doesn't make sense. But that's okay. We'll see because if it doesn't work, I just switch it. Alrighty. So let me get this straight so that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna pause it because the battery is in my car right now. Just one second. Okay, I went and got it. And you missed it. We just had a big old snack crack from Pop. <laughs> um, Gigi's in here, Cindy's outside. Luckily, um, my dogs are not bothered. I don't know why, but they're not bothered by um, like uh, any of that stuff, none of it like thunder or um, uh, what's the other thing? lightning, you know, anything like that. They're not, absolutely not concerned. So, okie dokie. So um, I took this home and charged it up because um, if you watch the other video, I just that Nathan pretty much let it run out until it just healed over. So, and this goes over as it is, but that makes no sense. Oh, that's why. Okay, here we go. Ready, and make sure that we line up. We got these guys. This is just the some kind of cover. This this side has like a little thing over it. If you can see that. All right. This side, I, it looks like it was either cut off or broke off. I'm guessing because everything that I've looked, I've looked up things on this and apparently this particular lawnmower, people have nicknames for them <laughs> because they're headaches. So if you have problems, you would end up, as I did, disconnecting the negative quite a lot, <laughs> trying to diagnose things. So apparently whoever in their infinite wisdom decided to sell this had been having some difficulty. So anyway, there it is. The old original one. And here's the key. Okay. Hi, you opened the wrong side. Oh, door key. Oh, well, well. I'll, I'll stay there on the day. Uh, I've never done that before. It's just because. Today. So, we like doing things just because we can. 
It'll give you something to do later. That's kind of like, now I wish it would be like really pouring rain. <laughs> so I have some fingertips here. It's not, yeah, it's not 16, I think I need. Is that the one? <gasps> I'm so good, I'll tell you. I am so brilliant. It was just like right there. I'm really not brilliant. Um, sometime I will post, because I've been thinking about it. Um, there are some people, I, sometimes I post these, they're on, what do you call it? Facebook and YouTube, because um, Goats and Dogs and Old People is basically a YouTube, and then I share it over to my Facebook. And um, so I do get comments, but a lot of times they're in my messages and stuff. So people have asked questions. So sometimes if you're watching on YouTube, you won't see where the questions are and you'll go like, what kind of crazy questions are people asking you? But um, I do get questions. And there are a couple of questions like, um, I sniff a lot, I do. There is a reason for it. And also um, why I cannot think of the name of things is I had a head injury. Many years ago I had a head injury. And um, I actually very fortunate, but um, I do have some residual things from it. And um, you know, life is what it is. But um, people do ask, so I will. I will post that. Sometime I'll sit down and uh, where's my other little tool set? I don't know. I have a little tool set. That's another thing that comes from that is I get like a little, let's talk about this and flip over to something else and make everybody crazy. Anyway, <clears throat> I will post something about um, my head injury and my accident and all that stuff. And it's kind of weird because um, people say I look like my mom. And she had a really bad head injury and a lot of tough problems. And, oh, so I guess I'm just following my footsteps. And, uh, but I'll explain that sometime, but not today because I'm trying to fix the trap. <laughs> you can really only do, um, well, they say you can only do one thing at a time. Sometimes I think I can do like 10 things at a time, so, you know, as long as I'm not talking, I can do a lot of things. So, let's see. What do we want to do first? I, one thing I really don't like doing is working with batteries. Um, two reasons. I, um, I'm always afraid they're going to blow up. <laughs> Even though they won't. I know they won't. Well, I mean, it's possible. <laughs> Why didn't I take that off first? Um, Something's going on. There must be something going on down the street. But oh, come on, you should just come right up there, you go. I know you should just come up. You should have done it when I told you in the first place. But um, let's see. What was I saying? Uh, oh, I don't like batteries. Um, little known fact about me is I went to um, auto mechanic school, auto mechanic school, um, and um, I ended up getting, it was called the, a doctorate of motors, and it's terrible because I can't remember this could have something to do with my head too. I can't remember if it was for, um, it was the company began with a C. 
So I don't know if it was for Chrysler or um, another one. <laughs> there you go. Technical term for another one. Um, but it was a doctor. I did very good with motors. Um, I really like it. It's fun to fix stuff. I don't like... <laughs> I do not like working on front ends. I do not like working on um, transmissions, except if somebody tells you to do something and then you just do it. Um, that's one thing. But to sit there and diagnose and stuff, a transmission is a pain in the neck. But I'll tell you, I went to school in, I think it was like the, oy, oy, oy. I'm so old. I went to school in the early 80s. Oops. <laughs> it was a lifetime ago, literally. And um, cars were easier to work on. Now they're all, that, actually that's why I stopped because all through high school I worked in a gas station. I loved it. It was my favorite job ever. And um, Oh, there we go. Um, so I went, my guidance counselor told me I was a girl. I couldn't put up for me to school. Now, before you start getting things in twist, I went, okay. <laughs> and I went to school on my own because I was, my high school was a vocational high school. And, um, so I didn't get that going on, but that's all right. So that's on, let's see. Oh, I don't know if I wanna do this with, let's see. Let's see. So I didn't get the benefit of that, so I just went to school on my own. So anybody who sits there and says, oh, it's not fair, whatever. If you wanna do it, just do it. Don't let people stop you. Whoa. The seat needs some work too. It's like all wobbly. And I hate starting this thing because it's so different from mine. Um, and I can't see. Let's see what came and brought this. I don't even know what gear it's in. Oh, yeah, there you go. Let's get it out of you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to open the toys because I have no idea what he left this in. And it looks like it's in. This looks like it's locked. But, and it looks like it's in neutral. But I hate to tell you, sometimes we get stuff and linkage has been bent. So, it's anybody's guess. Hearts are changed, all kinds of crazy stuff. Now, I'm not even sure that the, here, let me move this just in case. And if by some miracle this gets posted and I'm dead, just call somebody. I have no idea. I've never driven this one before. I've just tried to start it. Okay. I couldn't. I couldn't. This thing is too, it's too long. Oh, here we go. There's still no. Okay. Battery's still dead. That's what I'm guessing. Shit. Oh, I'm sorry. I said Percy. I'm sorry. So the battery is still dead. What I have to do, I will get off here and I will take it over to um, my friends over at AutoZone. And we'll have it tested. Okay, 
Um, reason being, um, this is the story. Well, I take this out. I'll explain to you the story of why AutoZone is my friend now. Okay? Um, this actually broke down. It's been almost four weeks now. And what happened was we have a guy who works, um, he does a lot of stuff around and helps. He's really sweet, very, very nice. And he does like a lot of the labor, just labor stuff. Sometimes they have him come help me at the house. It's like, um, comes, helps you. And like, I don't have him help the whole day because it's tedious. He, he just likes to help people. And um, I think he comes over for lunch. He used to love my parents. He was like, oh, it's like visiting my grandparents and stuff. I mean, I do pay him, but it's just very nice that somebody who just genuinely genuinely enjoys doing it. So, and it helps him out because he he lives alone and stuff. He's not married or anything. So, and he does odd jobs. So, so anyway, anyway I'll go with that digressing again. <laughs> I'm good at that. Um, he was cutting the grass. And what happened was, um, oh, here comes the rain. Cindy! Um, he was cutting the grass. And he says, geez, I was cutting the grass. And, uh, yeah, everything was fine. And then uh, when I shut off the lawnmower, it's like something kept running. You heard that right. Something kept running. And he let it run. So, considering um, what's, I hope you can see me, um, considering the diagnosis that a few people had, and I looked at um, some things online, and I came over and like, cross stuff and everything it's like yeah it seems like it's only like bad but we know the battery's dead so um, what I did was take the model number <laughs> and call online get a hold of a, a parts place and ordered a solenoid Yay. Because I've tried getting parts, especially being a craftsman. I've tried getting parts and they, they just laugh at you. That's a one more. You have to go one more place. So you go online. There's this like parts warehouse or something. I don't know the name of it. Um, if your name is parts warehouse, I'm not dissing you because I really don't know. But it's something like that. Oh, somebody's here. I'm going to have to pause. You know why? because I can't put people on my video. So hang on one second. Okay, that's all right. Um, that was uh, Mary, Steve's daughter. Um, remember I showed you the, uh, the cases that we're gonna pick up tomorrow? She came to pick them up tonight so that um, she could drop them off early. So that's good. So while he's in New York, she'll do that. So. I'm gonna run over and get this tested. And that's about it. It's like, it's pouring. It's really, it's not like downpour pouring, but it's it's doing one of those decent rain things, if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. It's a pretty decent rain, which we actually do. Oh, there she is. She said she's gonna run down and get, she had to go pick something up. <laughs> Oh, poor girl. Yeah, there's no cover on that either. I don't know what she's doing, but I'll help her tomorrow. Yeah. I say, watch the rain. She says, oh, it's not bad. <laughs> the timing is everything. Oh, Lordy. Anyway, 
I'm going to run over to AutoZone and get the battery tested. So I hope you all are having a good day. And I'll put a part one on this. So if you're looking for it, you will easily be able to see part two. And hopefully part two has good news. So. Oh, that was her. She came back and she says, I, I think I'll, it'll be another day. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. So anyway, oh yeah, it's like, here we go. So I'm going to get over to AutoZone. Um, take care, everybody. Try to do something nice for people today. And um, it will make you really, really happy for a long, long time. And it's just a nice thing to do. So take care. Have a good one. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.